and kind of moving on to him, um, you know, it's it's interesting because you have to admit that he's one of the better defenders on this team. But other than that, he's he's not he's not he doesn't have a lot to offer. Um, he you you could tell that when he wasn't when he was fouling on defense, which is kind of a big no no with Mike Brown, um, as with it as it should be with anybody. Um, and he wasn't doing the little things. And of course, he it's not like he was hitting the three miraculously. Um, it's very clear that he becomes a net negative. Like I said, as soon as you put Murray in there, Murray didn't even have to do much. He didn't have to do anything. He just had to play along, plug right in, not make any mistakes, and hold the line, essentially. Um, Akpala can hurt your team really fast. He's got upside. Mike Brown's probably not completely crazy saying that he's got potential to be a defensive player of the year candidate, but you got to remember that he also said in the same sentence that he's got to figure out a way to get on the floor. Um, it just doesn't seem like that's going to necessarily happen. Um, it, he, he, he had an opportunity and it just doesn't seem like he's going to capitalize on that. And I do think you're probably going to look at a situation with Akpala this season where you're looking at Baysmore. And just to talk about Bazemore for a second, Bazemore, his kind of he was in the last unit of the four units on the first pre in the first preseason game, and then he didn't really come in until late in the second one, and he closed out the game. And that's not like a great sign, but of course he's a veteran. He's play he played pretty well against Portland. Um, he doesn't really hurt you. Um, I think you're probably going to look at a situation where night to night it'll be between him and Okpala going inactive um and it kind of seems like Bazemore should be that guy but Bazemore lost his spot last year with the Lakers so I mean thing anything can happen but I mean that's probably the reality with Akpala but I would be I mean it seems like Mike Brown really believes in Akpala and at least wants to hang on to him for a bit so I mean I would expect him to maybe make the roster I wouldn't I mean that's not crazy but it's just like this whole starter thing is just it was a nice idea and if it worked out it'd be amazing i mean like sometimes you think about it like oh man like because if he can check the best player on the other team like that does so much for you because this team they run with pace they they move a lot everybody's active and competitive on both ends of the floor they use a lot of energy um you know it's kind of important if you can kind of just put the bulk of a load of guarding a LeBron or something like that, um, you know, on Akpala, you know, put him on Kawhi Leonard or you put him on uh, Booker, maybe in Phoenix or something like that. I mean, it seems like he'll guard the one through the five, honestly, maybe not the five, but definitely the one through the four. And like, that would be great, but it's just like, I don't know. He, I remember the first three pointer he took against the Lakers. He clunked it off the side of the backboard, and I was just like, ah, "That's not a good sign." No. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I like Ar I like Arkpala. I really think. I mean, we've been saying it. Out of him, Moneke, and Merrill, he has the best upside. He's definitely the guy you probably want to keep if you had to keep one of them. But it's just like it's back to that. He started for a little bit. That was a nice idea. It's back to reality here. Yeah, I, I think Akpala will make the 15 man. Um, we did see on Mon or Sunday night that Maneke, Merrill, and Quinn Cook didn't play, and the Kings need to cut three people. <laughs> you know, there's the three not playing. Uh, and they're, you know, I think they're suspected as a three that were going to get cut anyway. So mm -hmm. it's not too surprising. I, I, I mean, we've been talking about this narrative of you know who's going to make it between Maneke, Merrill, and Akpala. Um, yeah. I always thought it was Akpala just because of that defensive upside and at least he has like a clear-cut role where Merrill adds shooting which is you know a lot more clear than what Maneke adds as well but I don't know Akpala just seemed like man if this guy can just hit his shot like dang like he can you know he could probably be a guy trying to get you know, starting four spots in the league. But if all he can do is play good defense and, you know, especially with Sabonis out on the floor, you need at least one of your big men to be able to shoot the long ball at a high clip. And that's not going to be Sabonis. And, you know, that's going to 
leave it on like Paul and he just hasn't proven that at least in preseason so far, but I think he'll make the team um, and probably be that, you know, on the, in, on that, or in that inactive spot, most nights, maybe come in here and there, um, make the 13 active spots, but yeah, he's just, it's that shooting really. It's just kind of brings him back. 